regular or if you're just visiting us this morning you are really welcome and I'm glad that you've come here this morning to join us in worship. Whoever you are and wherever you're joining us from this morning we hope that you are safe and well and that you will know the presence and the blessing of God in these challenging times that we're all going through. Today we're going to try something new. We're going to meet for coffee and a chat after church, 12 o'clock midday today. That's going to be online on Zoom uh, and you can find the link to join us on the church's Facebook page. It's there now. And we also put it in the Sunday morning email that went out this morning. Um, the email goes out with links to this playlist on YouTube. You have to sign up for that email. Um, but if you find that the YouTube playlist doesn't play as smoothly as you'd like, please email Tim Provost so you can receive his Sunday morning email. Um, because if you access the service directly through the link in that email, it should all play much better for you and it should all work automatically and play smoothly. I will also put the Zoom link for coffee and chat each Sunday as well uh, into that email as well as putting it on Facebook. Um, if you miss it this week, don't worry if you're watching this later in the day or on another day, that's fine. We're only trying it out this week. But for the next few weeks at 12 o'clock midday uh, each Sunday, there'll be the chance to just bring your own tea and coffee uh, and just get together for a bit of a chat and a catch up. Um, we're going to use the breakout rooms on Zoom a bit so that we can chat in smaller groups just for about 10 minutes at a time and then we'll come back to the main group again. It would be lovely to see you. Uh, it was lovely to see lots of you uh, last week at the online communion that we did. It was just lovely to see people's faces and be able to, to chat a bit. You don't have to be a Muttley regular to come. We'd love to see you, whoever you are. We'd love to meet you and get to know you a bit. We have to just support each other in these times, don't we? And be there for each other and be able to just chat and say how we're doing and how we're feeling. So everyone is welcome. It'll just be for a short time of seeing each other and chat 12 o'clock on Zoom, probably till about 12.30 or so. It's all just still very weird at the moment, isn't it? And, and maybe you're finding that the things that you find hard are starting to grind you down a bit. This week, I've been thinking about Elizabeth and Mary in Luke's Gospel. Chapter one of Luke uh, is not a passage that we're used to thinking about any time when the sun is shining, as it is at the moment. It's a passage we only normally look at at Christmas. But I've been thinking about Elizabeth and Mary and the amount of disruption that God poured into their lives. Their lives were turned upside down, really. All their plans out of the window because God said, the time is now. The time for my purposes is now. The time for my purposeful disruption is now. And we can only begin to imagine the amount of disruption at every level of their lives and, and even in, in their very identity. But it was right and it was necessary for God's purpose to be fulfilled. And Elizabeth and Mary show us what it means to accept disruption and inconvenience and the unexpected and the unasked for in our lives with an attitude of faith. Their disruptions were a blessing but they probably didn't feel like it but they were purposeful disruptions, God's purposeful disruptions. It just may not be possible for us to be able to see and understand really what God is doing at the moment but he is definitely doing something and not just on a grand scale, but also in you, in your life, in the ways that your life has been disrupted and changed. What is God saying to you? What is God doing in you through that? We need eyes of faith 
to be able to believe that although we can't see or understand what he's doing, we can believe and trust that he is at work and it's for our good. So I invite you now just to take a moment to think where in your life you need God's help and strength and empowering to deal with disruption and difficulty. Ask him to show you that he is at work and to give you what you need to hold on and to see it through. And maybe think about in what way the disruption may be purposeful and could be a means of blessing for you. Let's pray together. God of disruption, we need to thank you and praise you for the disruptions in our lives, because those are the times when you are at work in us, in our lives and in our world. So will you transform our perspective? into one of faith and will you open our eyes so we can begin to see what you want us to perceive and understand about this time of disruption in our lives, disruption of all our plans. We know that we can trust in a God who is greater than we are, stronger than we are, more powerful than we are and that gives us assurance and hope that we are held by you and you won't let us go. Come and bless us this morning. We need your blessing and we seek you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A couple of songs now, both of them speaking of our God of compassion, who understands our challenges and difficulties and troubles and is present with us in them. 